Tsuya, I can't believe that I'm standing in front of you here today. It's like a dream come true. Nine years ago, we met for the first time in Emory, where I thought you were the most beautiful girl I had ever met. While I knew the odds were slim, I knew I would forever regret it if I did not ask you out. So I asked, and as one would expect when a freshman asks a senior out, I was politely rejected. I never lost hope though, because some things in life are worth dreaming for. So before Michael transferred to Georgetown, he met Sue at Emory and was immediately taken with her. But the timing wasn't right. Sue was graduating, moving back to Korea, and Michael was headed to Georgetown to finish undergrad. He moved to New York, years went on, life continued. And sometime during that life, Michael told me all about Sue. He even showed me a picture of her. Evidently, she made quite the impact. And then one day, I was sitting at a bar in Cape Town, <laughs> waiting for Michael when I spotted one of his friends from memory you know I went over to him to have a drink with him and a couple of his friends when suddenly I realized one of those friends was that woman Sue finally Michael arrived and he looked very very confused you know, what was Sue doing in New York you know, why is Joe with her <laughs> finally the timing was right Michael and Sue began talking and sparks flew and although I think the two of them would have ended up crossing paths at some point, because they were destined to be together, I'd like to point out I'm the reason you're all here tonight. <laughs> After all, I was the one who took the bar that night. Hi. Mm. You Thank you. How do I look? You look you nice. Good? Yeah, you look really dapper. Six years later, our lives crossed paths again in New York City. And I've been living the dream ever since. These past three years have been filled with so many beautiful memories. From the time I would truck to see you downtown, to say goodnight no matter how late I got off of work, to taking you to your first NBA game, to meeting our respective parents, to getting engaged here in Napa. Life has never been as sweet and as beautiful as it has been with you. Looking back at the moment when we met at Emory almost 10 years ago, and again six years later in New York, I have to say that not once did I ever doubt your feelings towards me. You were so clear from the beginning. Your affection, commitment, and honesty were unquestionable. Love, which was once such an elusive concept, became so clear and simple. Every time I look into your eyes, I know that I am deeply, unconditionally loved by you. And that is a very special feeling. I am grateful to God who has led me to you. Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Michael and Suyeon. You have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Michael and Suyeon to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Thank you very much for uh, joining a very special day. I know that uh, many of you have come from very long distance, uh, uh, most of you from the East Coast, but also uh, Soo Hyun's family and friends uh, who flew in from Korea. And I think it's a testament to Soo Hyun and Michael to have such uh, loyal and loving friends join us in uh, beautiful Calistoga. I would like to thank everyone uh, for making the time together uh, here. Uh, to congratulate uh, Suyeon and Michael on their special day. This wedding is made every bit more memorable and special by each and every one of you who has traveled from afar to give your blessings. Uh, 
I Michael take you s u y o n I Michael take you s u y o n To be my wife. To be my wife. I s e o n take you Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. When two people pledge their love to each other, they not only create a home and family of their own, but they also embody the support. goodwill and hopes of all who care for them as individuals. Sue and Michael have asked me to thank all of you for being with them today. So welcome to all who have traveled from near and far. Quiet nights we hold them tightly It seems like only yesterday when s u h y u n was born and uh, I held her in my arms. But now that little girl has grown up to become a beautiful lady who has found somebody that she loves dearly. We can make, make a moment last. Slow it down, don't you go too fast. Let your heart feel something. Let your heart feel something. <laughs> Sue, finally today is the day. I still remember the very first time we met. Since then, you always have been my best friend and the one who cheered me up with your um, bright smile and contagious energy. Now to Michael. You are the luckiest man today who got to marry the most beautiful, smart, and warm-hearted woman in the whole world. You are the perfect man that Sue has always dreamed of. Love will make us fall, but you can have it all. This is where we come. He's a uh, very passionate uh, finance professional, as uh, most of you know. But I have to be honest with you, uh, that's not what he wanted to do. His uh, passion in life uh, was basketball. He wanted to be the first Asian uh, NBA basketball player. But by the time he was in high school, uh, that feat was uh, achieved by Jeremy Lin, uh, who was drafted uh, by the New York Knicks uh, when he graduated from Harvard. Uh, it just so happened that uh, Michael's basketball coach in high school uh, was the assistant at Harvard that recruited Jer Jeremy Lin. So Michael, being a very astute young man that he is, uh, went to the coach and said, Coach, uh, what part of my game do I need to work on to uh, follow Jeremy Lin's footsteps? And without batting an eye, I uh, said, Son, you, you have no chance. Just stick to your studies. So as a father, uh, I'm very... Uh, you know, proud of his achievements, but also he's got a very warm side of him. He's always uh, looked after the underdog, uh, helped those people that were maybe not as fortunate as uh, he was. He was always on the sidelines, coaching his peers, making sure they knew they could achieve anything they set their minds to. So Michael was valedictorian of Georgetown, and nowadays he's basically valedictorian of his career. In fact, I think investing was the only thing he was passionate about. Until Sue. Sue Hyun, uh, when you entered our lives uh, in early 2016, it, it was uh, instantaneously noticeable to us. Uh, I mean, there's, there are obvious things, right? I mean, she's beautiful, uh, she's well educated, she's intelligent, but uh, she was very genuine and she was very kind hearted. She always knew what to say, how to say it, and she was always uh, very gracious. And, and we really, uh, Love that about her. And uh, we've been waiting for this day. It overwhelms me to see her so happy with her life's companion. Still, I have a mixed feeling in my heart. 
uh, looking back at our family throughout the many years living in the United States and in Korea, I wish I could have spent more time with my daughter. It makes me very emotional to send off my daughter to Michael and that her presence in this world will now be defined as Michael's love of his life, more so than my little girl. However, after meeting Michael and watching the loving way he looks at my daughter and seeing how much he cares about her, I had a strong conviction that he was a deep one. now like to take a moment to thank and honor their parents who have meant so much to them throughout their lives and who have provided them with the love and strength to continue on in their new life together. My name is Sammy Chan, and today I'll be introducing the Korean traditional Pebek ceremony to all of you. I actually have witnessed Michael and Sue's faithful reunion that one night in November 2015. And at that moment, I could see it in their eyes that they fell for each other instantly. I'm so happy for my friends Sue and Michael and that these two are tying the knot today. The core of Pebek features the bride and groom dressed in colorful traditional wedding attire, bowing in unison to the elders to pay their respects to them. Historically, Pebek is intended as a way for the bride to pay her respects to the groom's family as she is formally accepted into the family. However, in modern times, this Confucius tradition has faded and now both sides of the family are welcome to participate and friends and guests are welcome to observe. In Korean, the traditional attire is called hanbo. Michael and Sue will be wearing traditional hanbo specific to marriage ceremonies. The very special part about Michael and Sue's garment is that these are the very ones that Sue's parents wore 32 years ago when they got married. Sue's grandmother, who is here with us today, <laughs> took very good care of this beautiful hanbo so that her grandchildren can wear it when they get married. Now let's welcome the bride and the groom. Now, Michael's parents will be throwing dates and chestnuts to Michael and Sue. <laughs> this practice signifies a blessing of many children. One date and two chestnuts, so that means. Oh, okay. Three and three, so three sons and th three daughters. <laughs> to steal the data away from Sue's mouth. As, as seed of date symbolizes the control of household finances. <laughs> Let's see who will be in charge. Go, Michael. <laughs>
Thank you everybody for coming for tonight. Um, I know a lot of you guys travel from very far distances, so we really appreciate it. Um, this night is you know, a remarkable day and the beginning of a new chapter for us both. Um, and so we love sharing this moment with you guys. Um, special thanks to our parents, uh, especially Suze, who came from very far away. Um, and obviously to my beautiful new wife. <laughs> or wife. <laughs> um, so. Wow, that was just awkward. Well, in any case, well, thank you, everybody. And thank you, everybody, so much for making this night possible. And we love all of you so much. And hopefully, you know, we will cherish this moment forever. And let's have fun tonight, guys. Well, Michael is disciplined, pragmatic, and never veers off course. But Sue softens his edges, makes him relax, and puts him at ease. We call Michael Cinderella. You know, as soon as the clock strikes midnight, he's begging to go home. But when Sue is around, she reminds him that it's okay to be out and really enjoy time with his friends. that uh, this wedding will bring into fruition but his fun things for Michael and Sue. I hope love will overflow from this new family and that this love will inspire Michael and Sue to do great things for this world. And I hope that uh, their hopes and dreams are all fulfilled. No ceremony can create your marriage, only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. I've seen the way Michael listens to Sue and values her advice and opinions, and Michael does the same for Sue. You know, the two of them are so accomplished professionally in their own right. You know, they're able to provide different perspectives into each other's careers and lives. You know, while Michael has always been so accomplished, it was clear there was something missing in his life. But of course, he knew what he wanted from the moment he met Sue. But when Sue came into the picture, she undoubtedly filled the void. And I'm so excited that tonight, Sue and Michael make their own family official. So I stand here before you today, committing myself to you. I promise that I'll always be there for you, to listen, and to hold your hand. And I'll always do my best to make you happy and make you feel love. I promise you the best father I can be, as I know you'll be the best mother. And I promise to always be there for you as your biggest fan, best friend, and husband. Last, but not certainly least, I promise to be more organized at home, because <laughs> I know that makes you happy. <laughs> Suyan, you're the most beautiful and genuine person that I know. You fill my heart with so much happiness. I'm truly blessed to have you be a part of my life. I love you. My love, I vow to be a loving wife who will adore you forever. I vow to laugh with you, shed tears with you, and always be by your side as your best friend and lifetime companion. You are an incredible person, and I vow to provide you with unwavering support that will fuel you to pursue your dreams and aspirations. I vow to trust and respect you as your own person. I vow to help shoulder our challenges in life so that there, there is nothing in this world that we cannot face together. I also vow to be a gentle, patient, and kind wife and mother to our children. I vow that every year, every day, and every moment will be better than the last. I vow that I will love you always and forever.
I feel like I'm in a beautiful dream. The best part of this though is that in fact it's not a dream, it's real. It's a dream come true. <laughs>